The next step would be to perhaps reduce the size of all these bubbles that we have over here because they are a little bit too big and as you can see I did that in the uh, quick uh, makeover that I made. I made those bubbles a little, little, much, much smaller and also semi-transparent. So how to do that? Um, all these bubbles have exactly the same uh, uh, stroke color, okay? And so what I can do is just select one of them, all right, and then to zoom in, all right, and select just one of them with the white selection tool, just clicking once, and then you can go to select same, that will be in Spanish, seleccionar mismo, select same stroke color, okay, which is color de trazo in Spanish, stroke color. So I if I click on that, that will select all the elements that have exactly the same stroke color as that object. That means all the bubbles, okay, no other object on the scene has exactly the same stroke color. Now I can cut them out, as you can see, I, I clicked on Command X and all those bubbles are gone. This is not exactly what I want, because I'm going to cl just click on Command Z so the bubbles will be back. Okay, so right now I'm selecting all the bubbles. Now what I want is to change the size of all these bubbles together. The thing is that to do that, I cannot use the scale tool, because if I click twice on the scale tool, all right, to change the scale as we did before in previous videos about Adobe Illustrator or on a previous lesson about Adobe Illustrator, if I click twice on the scale tool and change this to 65% and click on OK, that will change the size of all the bubbles together according to just a single axis. It will scale them down based on these axes that is shown here at the center of all those bubbles. What I want is each one of these bubbles to scale along its own central axis, all right? And in order to do that, I need to use a completely different tool, not the scale tool. I need to use the object menu, transform, transform individually, okay? So it's object transform, individually transform. It will be down here, okay? If you click on that, you will see that this palette shows up and you can see scale horizontal and vertical. Now, I can change these, okay? So if uh, I want, for example, these bubbles to be half the size of the current size. So I click here and select 50% horizontal, 50% vertical. And what will happen when I click on OK is that the bubbles will change according or based on their own axis, individual axis. Okay, I can preview that. So I'm going to click on preview and as you can see, when I click on OK, this is what I will get, okay? This is the, the, the that will be the new size of all these bubbles. I'm going to click on OK, and there you go. Now, important to remember about the, this is a, a, something that I have explained in previous tutorials, I believe, but I'm going to explain it. It's very important to remember that the a, a, a scale individual or change individual tool only works if objects are not grouped. Okay, so I'm going to create several bubbles over here. Yeah, on the empty space, I'm going to select them all and group them, Command G. Now they are grouped, okay? It's very important to remember. Now this is a group of bubbles. So now I'm going to select them with the block selection tool and I'm going in to object transform, transform each, all right? And as you can see, when I, select, when I change their size 50, 50%, they don't change along their own axis, each individual axis. Again, they are changing along an e and a single axis in the middle of all these bubbles. And that is because what I'm scaling is not each bubble itself. I'm scaling the whole group together. So it's very important to remember that when I select, let me just delete all that again, select one of these bubbles over here, and then go again to uh, select, Sorry, object, uh, sorry, select same uh, stroke color, right? So all these bubbles together. Before you apply the transform each or transform individually uh, option, um, go always to the object menu and make sure that the ungroup option is disabled, okay? If it is disabled, it means that these bubbles are not grouped. If it is enabled, it means that they are still grouped. So click on ungroup and then go again and again, make sure that the, uh, the the ungroup option on the object menu is disabled. And click ungrouping until this option gets disabled. Only after that, go to the object transform, transform each or transform individually uh, option. And then over here, just change 50-50 and there you go. Click on OK and the bubbles have been transformed or have been uh, halved the size. Now, the other thing that I did was to change the transparency of these bubbles, okay, to, to make them a little bit less visible. Or, and so I'm going to select just one of them again, select a same stroke color, 
all right, stroke color. And then up here, you will see that there is an option called opacity. This option will also change if you go to the window menu appearance, that will be the appearance palette, the opacity value will also show over here, but they do exactly the same here and here. So I'm going to change the opacity to 50%, for example, so the bubbles will become 50% uh, visible. As you can see, that can help a little bit with overlap. Okay, so you can see the concentration of bubbles right now. If you keep opacity to 100%, all these bubbles will be, the bubbles behind other bubbles will be invisible. But if you change the transparency, you can see through a little bit, a little bit through those bubbles. We could change the color of the trend line, right? So I could go over here and select the trend line. Let me see if I can select it. There, there you go. So right now it's this pinkish color. You can change it to green or whatever other color you want. So just play a little bit with all these options. We can bring it to the front, by the way, because you can see that the trend line is behind all these bubbles. If you want to bring it to the front, you can just cut it out. So once it's selected, you can click on Command X and then uh, without selecting anything else, you can click on Command F and the trend line will be placed in front of everything else. 